Hello, it is Topical Tuesday, October 12th, 2021. Steve Cypress here. And yesterday was Columbus Day. And I just found out that for the first time ever here in the United States, anyway, it was officially by proclamation or whatever, uh, Indigenous Peoples Day. So I looked it up to see what the heck is going on. Which is it? Is it one? Is it the other? Is it both? And the answer is extremely complicated. Look it up yourself if you want uh, the uh, enlightenment and amusement of the whole thing. Like, uh, you know, there's all kinds of uh, every month is multiple official month of whatever. And every week there are multiple celebrations. It's national this week and international that week. And and there are multiple holidays that fall on days. Sometimes two different holidays fall on the same day. But this one, this one is different. Apparently, uh, there's Columbus Day. And then in retaliation for celebrating Columbus, who not only, quote, discovered the New World, uh, even though others had discovered it before him, and even though there were people living here before both of them or all of them or whatever, um, but uh, Columbus apparently, uh, not only reportedly, I guess, I wasn't there, but from what I read, he not only uh, discovered the New World, but he also uh, uh, began like a slave trade in the Caribbean islands or something and uh, did all kinds of nasty things. So, uh, of course, the woke cancel culture wants to cancel him and get rid of the holiday. So what they've done is promoting this Indigenous Peoples Day, which I am all in favor of. I love all holidays, in fact. Uh, especially as a marketer, always love uh, holiday-themed marketing. So here's another one. Uh, the danger here, though, is all this controversy, right? So you got a certain group of people saying, hey, tradition, Columbus Day, you know, blah, blah, blah. Or, uh, gee, Columbus was from Italy, so Italian-Americans were in an uproar over uh, thinking of anything to do with canceling Columbus Day. And then the whole uh, woke leftist, communist, Marxist, socialist, whatever you want to call it, uh, fly off the handle at every perceived minor injustice and rip it into a major thing because they, they really hate this country. Um, use it to promote how evil the country is and, and how evil they were to indigenous people, uh, which, of course, belies the question, are you sure that not any of these indigenous people were horrible people? None of them did bad things like Columbus or anybody else. So the whole thing is crazy. Uh, if you ask me, I would just stay away from it. I mean, I got a bunch of emails yesterday about a Columbus Day sale and a Columbus Day this. And I'm a big fan of a Thanksgiving Day this and a uh, you know Christmas this and a New Year's special of that. And it's the first day of spring and it's... Uh, you know, summer solstice and uh, flag day and whatever you want to do to have a holiday and to uh, promote it and use it as a theme in your marketing. But uh, this one is just so full of controversy. Uh, I think I personally, I know I personally will stay away from it for a while until all the brouhaha calms down. Or, of course, depending on your target market. If you are targeting your ideal client is a woke leftist, socialist, Marxist, American-hating uh, uh, communist, then, of course, you want to talk all about the glory of canceling Columbus with Indigenous Peoples Day and how that's righting or wrong and everything's great, and uh, vice versa. If your target market loves Columbus or loves Columbus Day or hates the woke mob cancel culture or whatever you want to do, then I guess you would focus on Columbus Day. I personally just stay away. They're both, it's, I mean, Columbus Day, give me a break. It's an incredibly minor holiday, if you ask me. Another thing I found out was uh, it's been around less than 100 years as a holiday itself. So it's not like it goes all the way back like New Year's Day or Christmas or or uh, July 4th, which I think also the, the woke socialist anti-American Obama types uh, looking to cancel July 4th and Flag Day. They hate the flag. They hate the country, all that kind of stuff. So Stick with the non-controversial holidays. If you want to uh, check out some really fun ones that I believe should be fairly non-controversial, uh, you can go to brownielocks.com. I talk about this site a lot. Brownie, B-R-O-W-N-I-E-L-O-C-K-S. 
as in like Goldilocks, Brownilocks.com. And uh, there, this, uh, this extremely resourceful woman uh, has dedicated her life for, I found it about, I don't know, almost 15 years ago. So I don't know how long she's been doing it, but so many days, weeks, months, all kinds of uh, obscure, fun, quote, holidays are listed there to use in your marketing. Tomorrow is undoubtedly the official four different somethings day. This is six different official something week. It's about a dozen or 15 or 20 different official something months. Use something like that, right? Something that, that you enjoy, that you'll enjoy talking about, speaking about, building a theme around. If you're a big Elvis fan, there's going to be a National Elvis Day and an International Elvis Week. There's going to be a this and a that and a whatever. Find some that's not controversial is my suggestion. But absolutely, uh, use holiday-themed marketing. It's fun. It's, uh, it can be uh, uh, get the juices flowing. Uh, it can uh, uh, do what, what I call edutainment. It's coming to be known as edutainment, right? So people learn something. Oh, I didn't know it was such and such a week. And uh, also, so it entertains them, educates them, and use some kind of a special value add or discount or whatever you do because of that holiday. It builds personality into your marketing and your business, uh, helps you build relationships with your members, clients, patients, customers, whatever they are to you. If you want help with holiday marketing or anything else to do with advertising, marketing, and sales that'll bring in more money, top line to your business, I will help you out. Possibly, if you go to helpfromsteve.com, I only do a few calls a week, but if you get one of the slots, I will help you there. And that'll do it for Topical Tuesday. Happy whatever it is today day, and I will catch you tomorrow on World Wide Web Wednesday. Over and out. Bye-bye.